actually know how to define this broad term accurately. In high school, science is portrayed as a dull subject, one where imagination and innovativeness appear to be insignificant. Students are led to believe that science is merely about solid, unchangeable facts. But this is far from the truth, because science is more than just a bunch of factual figures. It is much more significant than that. Science is a process. A process that begins with passionate curiosity and ends with invaluable knowledge. A process that takes us in a rigorous but gratifying search for answers. A process that involves experimenting, exploring, and questioning. As the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan has pointed out, science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. But what is it that makes this way of thinking so awesome? Well, first of all, science offers us answers. Whether it's about why is the sky blue or how did, we, how did we come to be, science offers us explanations. We humans are no ordinary species in that we crave an understanding of the world and the nature of our existence. We want to know how, why, when, and where. And it is only science that can truly give us this knowledge and understanding that we are for. Even more, science works. It delivers. Almost every single insignificant and significant thing around you at this very moment has a science behind it. <laughs> Smartphones, laptops, telescopes, internet, air conditioning, toasters, the list goes on and on. It's hard to imagine our lives without any of these things. And the truth of the matter is that advancements and innovations in science and technology have led to more accessible, more accessible food, more comfortable lives, and a healthier, longer lifespan for all of us. But science does more than simply offer us answers and solutions. It, without that, provides us with the most beautiful, poetic, and awe-inspiring way of looking at the world. For those of us used to boring old high school science, this can be a little hard to believe. But hopefully with a few examples, I can convince you otherwise. Let's start with something simple. What if I told you that every time you look up at the glistening stars in the night sky, you literally become a time traveler. These stars are unimaginable distances away from us, and there's a limit to the speed at which their light can travel. Because of these two reasons, by the time the light from any star or celestial body reaches our eyes, we are seeing it as it was in the past. We are literally peering back into time hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years away. For example, the Andromeda Galaxy, is 2.5 million light years away from us. So when we look at an image of the Andromeda galaxy, we are seeing it as it was 2.5 million years ago. Things are even more mind-blowing in the quantum world, a world that defies common sense. An example is with the phenomena of the quantum entanglement, a phenomena that was so insanely puzzling that even Einstein hated it. How it works is this. Imagine you were to take two particles that happen to vibrate in vision and separate them. What would happen then is changing the behavior of one particle would have a direct influence on the behavior of the other particle. Now, what if you were to separate these two particles, say, a galaxy apart? Even then, changing the behavior of one particle would have a direct influence on the behavior of the other in no time whatsoever. So at some minute level, these two particles are connected and can transmit information to each other in almost no time whatsoever, regardless of the distance. If you think that's crazy, wait till you hear this. All the matter that makes up the human race can fit into a tiny sugar cube. I know it sounds unbelievable, but actually, atoms are 99.99999% empty space. So if you were to take all the atoms that make up all the humans on this planet, pack them together, compressing and crushing this empty space, you would be left with a tiny sugar cube weighing 5 billion tons. In addition to all of this, the very organ that we use to do science amazes scientists. Almost every single human emotion, experience, and action boils down to the 86 billion neurons in the human brain and the trillions of interactions between them. It is by analyzing the nature of these neurons that scientists can deduce facts about how we think the way we think, do what we do, and feel what we feel. This is who we are, both as individuals and as a species. 
and it is science. It can really allow us to study who we are at the most fundamental level. There are many other things that science has proven to be true that have been awe-inspiring. We found that, that energy is matter, and matter is energy. That particles can also be waves. That time slows down the faster you travel, and that all life is based on DNA. These are just a handful of astonishing ways in which science has shaped the perceptions of the world around us. At an individual level, science is a profound, life-transforming, and poetic process. As the astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has pointed out, the world is a very different place when you are scientifically literate. And as for its benefits for our species, it's so much more than a mere subject that the nerds in school were good at. It's so much more significant than that. Science is without that the most powerful tool with which we can study the universe and everything in it. Science is a tool that has allowed us to become the most dominant species on this planet and will empower us to spread out to the rest of the cosmos. Science is a tool that will allow us to tackle all the obstacles we are faced with. And ultimately, science is a tool that will allow us to transcend as a species. Thank you.